Good evening and welcome. Uh, we begin tonight with the U.S. presidential race on the Democratic side. All eyes are on the state of South Carolina, where Hillary Clinton is favored to win over Bernie Sanders with heavy support from African-American voters. Uh, and I mean, what Thursday's night Republican debate in Texas turned into a verbal brawl of personal attacks. But as the questioning began, it was frontrunner Donald Trump's closest rivals with a shared agenda attacking the credibility of the billionaire businessman. Well, you're the only person on the stage that's ever been fined for hiring people to work on your projects illegally. You hired some po no, workers no, from Poland. No, I'm the only one on the stage that's hired people. You haven't hired anybody. Well, he is promising if he's elected, he will go and cut deals in Washington. And he's right. He has supported, deal, he has given hundreds of thousands of dollars to Democrats. Anyone who really cared about illegal immigration wouldn't be hiring illegal immigrants. Armed with endorsements of two Republican senators heading into Tuesday primaries in 12 states, Trump did not retreat from the attack by Cruz. I got along with everybody. You get along with nobody. You don't have one Republican. <laughs> you don't have one Republican senator, and you work with them every day of your life, although you skipped a lot of time. These are minor details. But you don't have one Republican senator backing you, not one. You don't have the endorsement of one Republican senator, and you work with these people. Senator Cruz. You should be ashamed of yourself. On the international front, Trump said he would not support the ceasefire deal set to take place in Syria. Two other candidates, Ohio Governor John Kasich and former neurosurgeon Ben Carson, remain in the race and were on the debate stage, but their message seemed overshadowed by the verbal tussle between the top three candidates. Observers believe Tuesday's primaries could reshape the Republican field depending on the outcomes. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton is taking a lead over Senator Bernie Sanders into Saturday's South Carolina primary before Democrats in 11 states head to the polls Tuesday. Well, for more on Saturday's Democratic primary, we turn to viewers Aru Pande, who joins us live from Columbia, South Carolina. Aru, welcome to Africa 54. Now, uh, Aru, a question here is... Um, oh, Thank you so no, much. Yes. Now... Aru, uh, we know that um, Hillary is um, his favored to win in South Carolina, which has a huge African-American uh, population there. But why is that the case? Why do they love her so much? What do you hear? Well, like you said, in South Carolina, we look at the population one third of the population in South Carolina is African American. Now, when you look at the Democrats, more than half of the Democratic voters, uh, more than half of the African Americans uh, vote in, in Democratic. So this is key. Hillary Clinton has a presence here. She has connections to this state, not just because of her husband, President Bill Clinton, but she really has forged relationships with leaders in South Carolina. And you look at the way she's campaigned here. She's held small gatherings in churches. She's campaigned with mothers of victims who have been shot by police. Um, so she's really forged these uh, relationships. And that's what African American voters are citing here. We know Hillary. We know her experience. Bernie mm -hmm. Sanders, on the other hand, he's held these huge rallies where we've seen a number of young people. So there's definitely a contrast in the type of campaigns. But when it comes to Hillary Clinton, she has had a long relationship with the state and she has a long relationship with the African-American voter. And that's what everyone is watching South Carolina to see how big of a margin she wins here by. Uh, but at the same time, there has to be expectations. What are some of, what are some of the important issues for the African African-American voters in South Carolina. Well, obviously, we talked about criminal justice reform. As I said before, the mothers of some of these victims, whether it be Trayvon Martin or Sandra Bland, who have been killed while in police custody, um, they have all come out here in South Carolina. They have joined forces with Clinton and campaigned on her behalf. And even when she's left the state, they've come out and spoken at gatherings and said, you know what? Hillary Clinton has been here. She has met with us. She has talked to us about race and police and 
criminal justice and we have a bond with her. There's that issue. There's the issue of health care. A lot of the people I talk to here in South Carolina say, you know what, under President Obama, we have had access to affordable health care. We haven't had that in our state until President Obama was able to pass the Affordable Care Act. So they want to see that continue and they're afraid if there is a rep Republican president that they will lose that access to health care. That's a big issue. Unemployment is huge. Many of the people I talk to are living in communities, small towns where people have left because businesses have closed down and there are no jobs. So those are some of the main issues. Unemployment, criminal justice reform, race relations, um, education okay. that are really um, the, the highlight of, I think, African-American voters as they head to the polls. Thank you very much, Arrow. Uh, well, that's VOA's Arrow Panda reporting live from Columbia, South Carolina.